Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato, and today's Everything Music, it's what makes this music creepy. I was listening to this piece that is from the TV show Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows was a soap opera that ran from 1966 to 1971, and I rushed home from school every day to watch this. It was a horror soap opera, and that was one of the pieces from it. I was listening to this with my daughters earlier today, I was playing the music from this soap opera. I mean, this was on in the middle of the afternoon, and the main character of it, Barnabas Collins, was a vampire. As a matter of fact, I have an autographed picture of Barnabas Collins. The actor's name was Jonathan Fred. He passed away a few years ago, but I love Dark Shadows, and it was a really creepy, scary show. And it had very modern music in it for the time. This is, you know mid-60s or so, but modern classical music. Let me play you the cue that I just played. It's interesting. The cue starts out C and then E flat, D, C sharp, there's a major seventh interval, and then you have the note C up here, which of course is a half step below. So you got D, C sharp, C, and then B. So those are all a half step away from each other. That's called an X cell, four chromatic notes in a voicing like that. That's actually a technique used in other horror movies. That was, of course, the shower scene from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, which was composed by Bernard Herrmann. That particular XL has the notes E flat, E, F, F sharp. Those four chromatic notes there. That's a, another kind of XL. Getting back to my conversation with my girls, here's a list that we came up with for what makes music sound creepy. Low or deep sounds, slow music, screeching, Sudden sounds, toy piano sounds, they are creepy. Tremolo, fast glissandos, chromatic melodies, punctuated chords, chords that are really dark, minor major seventh chords, minor six nine chords, suspended chords, augmented chords, slow pulsating rhythms to build suspense, and dissonant intervals like the X cells like we just heard. Let's take a listen to some film music that employ these techniques. May I use your phone, please? You can use my phone. Freeze! Put your hands over your head and turn around. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Put your hands in the back. Thumbs up. Freeze! The first thing you'll notice about that cue is the pulsating timpani. Boom, 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 boom. Like I said, pulsating rhythms like that are like heartbeats, and it makes it suspenseful. And the harmonic language that's being used, Howard Shore was the com composer. Starts out with a C sharp minor major seven chord, and then goes to C major over D flat or C sharp, and then back to C minor major seven, and then goes to D flat or C sharp uh, major seven, and then to C sus four to C major, and then back to this augmented sound. This would be a C augmented major 7 over E. But these augmented sounds like I was saying. You have the minor major 7th chord which has the augmented triad in it. You have the augmented major 7th chord which has the same augmented triad in there. That C augmented triad. And then eventually that resolves down right at the very end of that cue to an F seven over E flat, which would be a first, uh, third inversion F7 chord. So once again, pulsating rhythms, minor major seventh chords, augmented chords, those are really suspenseful and creepy sounding.
That was, of course, Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield, the theme to The Exorcist. What's really cool about it is that it's in 15-8 time and it's an Aeolian melody. I just had done a video on Aeolian, how it has a dark quality to it because of the flat six. Now, the opening theme doesn't actually feature the flat six. It starts on the note E, but it's actually Aeolian. At the beginning of the melody, the... No, F doesn't come in, but later on, about 30 seconds into it, you start hearing it in the harmonization. Now, let's count this so we can see how the 15-8 works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It actually is easier to count if you count it in a group of seven and a group of eight. Let me do it again for you. This is a, this is a great example of odd times, right? This is the seven, and here's your eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Once again, the bells in there have a kind of a mysterious quality to them. The Aeolian melody. And it's also reminiscent of this particular movie theme, which actually came out a few years later. Let's check it out. That was, of course, John Carpenter's theme to Halloween. That came out in 1978 and is obviously, to me, influenced by Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells. One of the things is the main theme is also in Aeolian. F-sharp Aeolian this time. It's also in 5-4, so they're both in odd time signatures. They both use Aeolian melodies. They have a piano with a lot of reverb on it. They both have a ticking clock sound. Or. The other thing is that when Halloween comes in with the low register part, so it plays F sharp and then A, and then it goes to a perfect fourth and go, moves down a half step, goes to F and B flat and. Another great example of a movie with a creepy or scary soundtrack is The right, Pit okay. and the Pendulum, right. starring Vincent Price, okay. which came out in 1961. Are you ready now, Bartholomew? Bartholomew? That clip, you heard a bunch of different things. We had the influences of Webern, Schoenberg, and Berg with the atonalism. You also heard some harmonic devices. There was one spot that had B-flat diminished chord. That's diminished triad resolving to this A major over A minor. It's not a complete chord, but we have A, C, C sharp. And you have that flat ninth interval, which just sounds very creepy. And then that resolves down to this... F sharp major over F sharp minor. Once again, Are you ready blending now, two. Tom, Tom so it would be F sharp Tom, major Tom. add flat third really would be the correct way of calling it. One of the best examples of a suspenseful movie theme is John Williams scored to Jaws. Check it out. So like I said at the beginning of the list that the girls and I made up, things that are slow and things that are low, right? That actually meets both of those criteria, and then it speeds up into an incessant pulse. Another great example of suspense and creepiness is from the TV show One Step Beyond. This opening theme was written by Harry Lubin. Let's check it out. Well, 
What you heard there were the sounds I talked about earlier, minor major seven and minor six. That's used for suspense, mystery, film noir, and that theremin that's in there also gives you that vibe. For those of you Mike Patton fans out there, maybe you know this. And then there's this theme, which actually gave me the idea for this video, which was obviously influenced by One Step Beyond. Once again, a very chromatic melody, G sharp, A, up the octave on A, and then G, E flat, E natural, and then G, F, D. So a lot of those chromatics, right? And then... And then he goes to this minor major seven and walking right down to the minor six and then back up to the minor major seven. So once again, minor major seventh chords, minor major six, really chromatic melodies adds to the creepiness of it. Another piece from the Dark Shadows soundtrack is called Night of the Pentagram. Check it out. Sudden sound. A stab it's called. And you hear the tremolo violin right there. Remember I said tremolo is another thing that makes it sound creepy. And then... Once again, really chromatic melody. So you got major seventh interval, then down a minor nine, and then up a minor nine, down a minor nine, down a half step. So all these really close intervals. Really create that horror music sound. And the last thing is the toy piano sound. Really, it's more like a celeste. Listen. That would be. Once again, with the tremolo strings. Then, chromatic. Those of you film composers out there that want to have a palette on which to draw from things that sound creepy, at least orchestral things that sound creepy, these types of devices will create that creepy or the horror suspenseful sound. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel if you're interested in the Beato book where you can find all these kinds of ideas. Go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. Check out the new Beato ear training method at beatoeartraining.com. Watch the intro video. And if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.